of their role in a deadly hate crime were sentenced today. 16 WABG's Ross Adams live now at the federal courthouse with the case that shocked the country, Ross. As you can imagine, it was quite an emotional day in the courtroom for James Anderson's family, who said he was killed by a group of vile, evil racists whose eyes were filled with hatred. Surveillance video captured the pickup truck running down James Anderson outside of West Jackson Motel in June 2011. Prosecutors say a group of white teens targeted Anderson because he was black. Authorities say ringleader Daryl Detman was behind the wheel of that pickup. Detman, already serving life on state murder charges, will serve 50 years on the federal charges. The judge gave Rice 18 and a half years and Dylan Butler seven years in federal prison. He called Anderson's killing a modern day lynching. Murders and lynchings, uh, just because you were black, was just a part of our state's history. And that we were thinking that, you know, that part of our history was over. And um, so to have something like this happen in 2011, um, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's shocking. Anderson's partner of 18 years wanted the man to get life in prison, to never see uh, freedom again. But the family attorney says the men got the maximum sentence based on their plea deals with federal prosecutors. Now, today is just the beginning of this federal hate crime case. Seven other defendants, including two young women, will be sentenced later this year. Reporting live from the federal courthouse, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News. Ross, thank you. As for how we got here in this case, a recap for you. Back in 2011, the surveillance video showed a pickup truck running down James Anderson at the Metro Inn on Ellis Avenue. Anderson's murder launched that federal investigation that found a group of teenagers was behind several other attacks on black men. And of course, today, a federal judge sentenced Daryl Dedman to 50 years, John Rice to 18 and a half years, and Dylan Butler to seven years.